war. War never changes. In the year 2077, civilization finally achieved its long dreamed of climax with the release of enough nuclear rage to wipe out most life on the surface of the earth. Or was it lack of rage, lack of emotion altogether that released the bombs? Regardless of the answer, for one bright moment, the earth shined like a star. Those of us invited underground by vault were protected from the blasts, protected from the nuclear holocaust outside. We would later discover that the residents of other vaults were not so lucky, that they were used in insidious experiments for purposes still unknown. But in Vault 76, we were protected. Far from the radiation of the outside world, we were given the best food, the best medicine, the best education. They taught us everything we needed to know of the world before, and the world we would create when our time had come. They told us of the savagery we would see on the outside, the ways in which we would overcome it. They prepared us for the reclamation of a world which had always been ours. We were the chosen ones. And that's how we knew we were the enemy. Hello, and welcome to Video Game Vision Quest. This is Zoner Max, Ace Reporter, on Synchromystica Roleplay. Something insane is happening in this camp behind us. I thought surely I had reached the limit of the mind-boggling supernatural occurrences I would be experiencing after leaving the vault. But they both they have only increased, they have only multiplied. They've only gotten stranger. This camp, Alpine River Cabins. There are screams. Constant screams. The ground's con The dead walk. The pitcher spin and it is haunted. I suppose it's possible the screams and spinning pitchers were some tourist attraction, but why didn't any of the guests know about it? From Flatwoods, home of the Flatwoods monster, to Camp Crystal Lake, Alpine River Cabins is basically Camp Crystal Lake. From Friday the 13th. Like the game I was playing in real life, the game we had back in the cabin. Sorry, back in the vault. I'm reminded of the magician. My magician friend from Vault 76. Those strange books he brought in. They were fun to read, but... I never thought I would find myself in the middle of all of it. Did I see him the last night? Did I see him at the party the night before Reclamation Day? When I woke up alone with nobody around? He shouldn't have been there, but I thought I saw him. God, my dreams were weird that night. Where is everybody? 
I need to head back to Flatwood. The reporter always has time to pick flowers. But yes, I need to head back to Flatwood. And I think just hiking over the mountain is going to be quicker than going to, through the road. Something strange is going on down at this haunted camp. I need to get back to my own camp, but it's good to know there's a place like this, a place, another place, with this magical energy, this strangeness to it. I can't help thinking about those books. If I was ever to do something from those books, do the spells from those books, this might be a good, a camp might be a good place to do it. Then again, Flatwoods might be a good place. Why am I thinking about this now? Let's get back. I'm gonna have a sandwich at the top of this hill. I just have to reinvent bread that isn't moldy and radioactive. How do I eat here? Before I meet whoever's up there. I found a new pistol. A 10 millimeter. That's gonna be useful. Really need to cook more. I'm running out of anything useful to eat. Sugar bombs, sweet roll. Okay, and I wash it all down with whiskey. Zoner Max, Ace Reporter, with that healthy reporter diet. Break all my stuff down to scraps at the church. Before I store it at my camp. Someone up here, do I trust him? Man. Hi there. Oh, turret. Uh-oh. Crap, 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 crap. That should have been more obvious to me. Okay. I'm running back, I'm running back. Well, I believe I'll mosey on this way. Stay focused on the scrapping. Oh. Well, hello.
have a lot of robots walking around doing repair duty. The self-perpetuating insanity factory. Someone's got to reprogram these robots. Nightmare Quark's Tower. Strolling on down the road. Okay. I think I... I might just do the hike this time. Rah, rah, there you go. Hello, responders. And it just lug in some ridiculous amount of garbage. Ah, hauling garbage. There you go. Woo. This highway is under the protection of the responders. This highway is under the protection of the responders. The responders are here to keep you safe, citizen. Good to hear. You guys are more lively conversation than most I meet. But my whiskey is worn off, so I'm back to camp. Scoop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop. Robots are more relaxing than ghosts and zombies. Flat with the territory. There we go. Zoner Max. Experienced woodsman never loses track of his camp. Ah, that's cooked before anything. I just remembered I gotta scrap half this stuff. Brain fungus soup. God, am I gonna eat that? Why am I out of brain fungus? I thought I had a ton of that. What? Now that I know I can make it, I actually do want brain fungus soup. It's one of the grossest funguses I've ever seen. On the other hand, it might be an act. What better use than making soup, I guess? I'm sure the cosmic intelligence is attached to will have no problem with it. Now to go find some.
Okay. Okay. That's some good cooking. I had to eat something that isn't poison. Eh, well right chunks. Let's start with the gross stuff. Surprisingly good. Okay. Liking the mole rat chunks. Alright. Wash them down with some meat fruit juice. Off to town. The Flatwoods Church, clearly dedicated to the Flatwoods Monster, which is essentially an, essentially an alien, and yet the way it's treated here, it almost comes off as more of a nature god, the green monster of green country. Now that I think of it, I should probably take another look at the priest and see if there are any strange symbols on the clothes he was wearing. Here's the church. Priest house on the way. Picking flowers because I'm normal. There's a tricycle. Try not to acknowledge my broken heart. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Flamingo. Is that funny? What? Oh, the cows. The Brahmin. Two-headed nature gods benevolently, benevolently bringing milk to the future. Walking cane, all right. That's a pretty good excuse to become a lockpick, I think. There's going to be a lot of lock stuff here in the apocalypse. The apocalypse and definitely not afterlife. I'm not dead. I'm alive. Clearly. Anyways. Whoa. Ah! 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 Okay. Whew. I'm totally adjusting well. Who doesn't love giant bugs? That's normal and fine. Wah! Hey there, buddy. How goes it? A person. Hello. This isn't the house I thought it was. I was looking for a dead priest. Your helmet is fantastic.
I, Jeremiah Ward, resident of the town of Flatwoods, county of not sure, being of sound mind and not acting under duress, mostly hereby declare this letter to be my last will and testament. Me against the house and everything in it. It ain't much, but that's all I got to give, and she's all I got. I know she's still alive. The responders say the dog's daughter, but I know it ain't true. They've been really good to us, teaching an old geezer like me how to really cook or something. Yeah. I give them that, yada, yada, yada. I know they're lying about those dogs. I see them in the hills. Bad folks scoping us out. Took my, whoa, took my granddaughter. I just knew it. Well, I certainly hope this letter doesn't lead to a corpse, because this is depressing. Smoke, 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 smoke. <sighs> food. Okay, they must have been here recently because there is food I can eat here. Who killed these people? What the hell? Someone calling for help? Here I come. Me into murdering them. I mean, tricking. Oh, it's time to pet a two-headed cow. Hello. Ah, hi. Okay, hello. Bob, good to see you. Hey, cool helmet person again. Hi. Boiled water accepted from volunteer equipment sterilization in progress. Sterilizing equipment complete. And now to perform the art of science. The responders thank you for your service, volunteer. I thank you, responders, and specifically you, Bob, for existing. Bob's a good guy. While you're over here, why not grab a stem back or two? Thank you. With smarts and a little luck, you'll do just fine out there. Oh, I should have held on to those dog tags. Crap. No, I definitely need to keep a toothbrush. That part of my life must live on. 
The typewriter, I gotta keep that. Whoa, Raider Corpse. What the hell? I never even noticed this. Whoa, what went down here? Priest outfit. Whoa, yes. A preacher's outfit. I could definitely find use for that. I don't want to just loot this place. There's lots laying around. Whoa, there's a Mr. Farmhand on the loose again. Fantastic. I need to find someone who knows something about Robco so I can reprogram those robots. There's good inside them. And of course, for personal synchronicity, there's a lighthouse right there inside the church. I've been having lighthouse synchronicities, amongst, amongst other things, so, anyways. You're a good guy to talk to, Bob. And I like this flat with Monster Church. Whoa! There is kind of a poetic symbolism too. Insect in the church, in a good way. Insect consciousness. Before cosmic. Hello. More sugar bombs, I'm happy. Newsboy cap, I am a reporter. Let's hear this story though. Dasa asked me if I would talk about um, how I got here. She asked everybody, so I, I said okay. My name, my name's Colonel, and I'm 13 years old. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Um, the bombs and the messed up people and the cows with two heads and all of it. I was bad. Just bad. I, I cheated on my spelling test. I, I kicked Chip Wilkins in the shins until he cried. I pushed Rosie McCloy down the stairs. Um, 
I, I cut holes in the bottom of all the gym shorts and uh, put glue in the mashed potatoes in the cafeteria. I told Harold Newell to eat 10 dead flies a day in order to grow muscles and uh, I put Nuka Cola in the rat cage water bottles at the pet store. And um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about everything. My dad said if I wasn't this way, the bad things wouldn't happen. I haven't seen Daddy since the bombs, and I guess he left because of that too. It's okay. I'm trying to be good now, though. I'm not old enough to be a volunteer, but Dasa said I can help collect food and water, so I'm getting better. I promise. And. Daddy, if you're listening, I, I promise I won't be bad anymore, so you can come back now, okay? Okay, bye. That kid's dad is fucking garbage. Being nice to kids is the most one of the most revolutionary things a person can do. Raise them to be free from the baggage that our entire planet was straddled with that led to the fucking bombs dropping. Because of fucking tough guys and fucking people trying to be fucking good. Be nice to kids, that's how you save the world. I'm gonna wear this newsboy cap in this kid's honor. Although, actually... Where is this kid? Kids was weird. There are all these stories around, where did he go? Where is he? I don't see a dead body. Why are the raiders dead and the locals? Why are the responders dead? Who killed all these people? And those who don't have bodies, where did they go? I assume this is because he was a Mario Brothers fan. Alright, let's save you. That did not feel good. I think I'm going to lay down a bit. I think I'm going to lay down and rest after that fall. Ah, that's what I will do. That was not very pointy. That's not very pointy at all. Okay. Just fell kind of far. No big deal. Time to sleep.
Okay. I feel healed. Twelve nothing. Okay, let's check my map. Volunteer oil watcher is necessary for equipment sterilization. Please assist. Volunteer oil watcher is necessary for equipment. Sterilization. I will Please definitely get you some. Assist. Oh, he is well stacked. He is well stocked now. He is well stocked now. Volunteer oil watcher is necessary for equipment sterilization. Please assist. Volunteer oil watcher is necessary for equipment sterilization. Please assist. The meat hooks like Lobo. Volunteer oil watcher is necessary for equipment. Sterilization. Please assist. Volunteer oil watcher is necessary for equipment sterilization. Please assist. Volunteer oil watcher is necessary for equipment sterilization. Hi. Assist. It's good to see another person. This town's pretty lively. Testing those water samples. Smart move. The one I'm keeping, of course, is the one that the kid had. Okay. How did I get two these boy cats?
Well, he didn't stick around, but glad to glad to see you're Volunteer still here, Bob. Oil water is I got some for equipment sterilization. Please assist. I'll bring some before I leave town, and I got some weird stories to tell too. This place is strange. Whoa. Um, I think someone left their power armor. Hey, hey, is that still... I gotta check in with the kiosk, but... Looks like there's a supply drop. And what? What's over here? This place is lit up like a circus. That's cool. Okay, first things first, let's get a supply drop. Is my friend still here? There you are. The truest sign of goodness so far encountered in the wasteland. The three-headed possum. <laughs> three-headed possum. No trespassing, eh? Not good if you're a ghoul in town. Okay, alright. In, in the last episode, Pioneer Scout Brett Fisher met a curious girl named Sally while hiding in the dark. But as it turned out, they weren't alone. There are other people here? Yeah, they probably just went to get more food. They'll be back soon enough. You can wait with me, and they'll give you food too. You just have to do what they want. Scott Shepard. Scott Shepard, I've been looking for him, and... He is dead. But recently dead. I don't know who it is. Anyway, you're gonna rise. Wait, let's listen to this. Who I meant to see. So I leave it to you to decide, dear listeners. Was this simply the wild imagination of a frightened boy lost in the woods? Or was Red Fisher in fact abducted by brainwashing aliens from outer space? Are you wearing a hat? Be sure to tune in next week for another thrilling chapter yeah. of Tales That's from the West everywhere. And yet that story is still creepier than the people I'm fighting.
Woo! Donor match, Ace Reporter losing his mind. Scary stories and robot attacks. I gotta hear that scary story again. That was significantly insaner than what I expected. Significantly insaner. Okay, okay. I haven't even looked in that place yet. Okay. Let's head back a bit. Let's head back a bit. Let's... Let's... Woo! Okay. Let's not go crazy. Let's just stroll back a little ways. Ah! Okay, I did not think they would be in town. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Shooting everything. Ooh, not the cows, though. Cows are good. The two headed cows are my friends. Ooh, okay. I think I'll go into this enclosed area. Toilet paper. I am now the king of the wasteland. The king of the wasteland. I don't care how powerful someone is. I'll have to be like, well, how clean is your butt? Zoner match. A supporter. Clean his butt. That's this weird picture. I'll take that to remember you by, Mr. Priest. Okay, I wanted to see if there was any interesting printing on... on his priest uniform. I don't know what the official name of the priest uniform is. I, of course, have to look that up before I file the official report. Already read that. Handy fuel. That seems like something that would be incredibly useful. Ooh, so I'm lugging it back. Hello, what is this? What is this? Hello. Oh, this is a very interesting find. I feel a lot of destructive power at my fingertips.
missiles and grenade rounds. A single bullet? Hmm. This is an interesting find nonetheless. Okay. Hello potato crisps. Hello food. Uh, you never know when you might be in a visor mood. I should find myself a snazzier outfit now that I think of it, now that I have no so many people in the vault have gone insane. My stash box? What? Oh, whatever. That seems weird to me. I'm probably just hallucinating. Anyways, on to this little place over here, and then this what appears to be a circus. Or at least a campsite. Basic human life seems like a giant circus compared to the emptiness and void all around me. Oh, I may have been here a few minutes ago, actually. Let's double check. Oh, yeah. Blue Garden Gnome. Yes, that's why I came back. It was meant to be. It was destiny. Okay, I have big fertilizer sacks now. Clearly, I gotta scrap that. Then it's circus time. Whoa, a whole giddy up buttercup. Now I'm getting excited about cleaning up my camp. The world is mad, but I can at least craft my very own badass luxury camp with a horse.
And here we are at someone's camp. How recently was this occupied? a big old boomer out yonder. They tell me. What's a boomer then? Then some sweet young thing come up to me asking for help with that garden next door. <laughs> uh, and then just this morning, I hear talk of crawdads big as a barn door across the mountains and worse. Uh, Flatwoods had better days. Now everything cattywampus or it'll kill you. I ain't no cussing lady. But damn, if God had just let a bomb fall on my head. Jesus, just let me die. Yet she doesn't seem to be dead. No body, so where did she go? Is it our people who scared them away or someone else? What? cows around but I feel like there's something else out here. Whoa! Okay, some sort of weird mutant cop or sailor or something. Okay. Ooh, I forgot about the rising dead. How did I forget about that? Uh, I'll leave that specimen jar, I think. That sounds kind of good. Getting thirsty. Oh. Oh ho. What is this? you guys. Are you alive? I can get you water if you need it. I'm a reporter. You can tell me your story. Oh crap! You've got a gun. Ah! Ah! Okay, okay. Okay, okay. 
This interview did not go well. Oh, sounds like someone else who doesn't want to be interviewed. I think I'll head back. Someone else killed that person. No worries. Okay. All is fine, ma'am. All is fine. I wonder what's up there. Okay, I think that's... Alright, let's take a drink. Getting a bunch of exploded maniacs. It's a great reason to have a drink. Oop, not what I need to do. Okay. Whew. All right, undead roaming that field. Are they undead or is that... They have those green crystals glowing out of them. What is the deal with that? Are they different from those... Zombies? Ghouls? What's the technical difference between a zombie and a ghoul? Usually I would say with the speed. But running zombies are kind of a thing now, so... Intelligence! How smart were those guys? Actually, that last guy had something to say. Screaming. I was angry, didn't care, and he was smart enough to handle a gun, but... More like a white than a ghoul. What do you think? Am I going too deep on my undead definitions? A reporter has to do these things. Do not enter. Well, surely you mean do enter. Oh, Scott! Scott, Scott, Shepard, Scott, Shepard. Damn it. I've been looking for this guy. I was hoping he was alive. I was really hoping this guy was alive. When I saw Scott Shepard's name in the computer, I said he was a nurse, but that his expertise was the philosophy of what is going on in the world. It said that he had paranormal explanations for what is happening, and there has been a lot of paranormal stuff happening. I wanted this guy to be alive. So who killed this guy? It doesn't look like he's been dead very long. It doesn't look like he's been dead very long at all. This looks like a recent kill. I mean, a couple of days at the most? He only looks green because of this light in the daytime. I mean, it's hard to tell. Do people just look like this now because they've been living in the radiation? Or has it been more like a few months and a few days? A few weeks? Either way, it's weird that it's happening right before we emerge from Vault 76. I wanted to see what he had to say about what was happening, what supernatural explanation he had. Because things are definitely getting supernatural.
secret stash by the Bravin tubs behind the house. Taming animals. Well, it was nice meeting you anyway, Scott Shepard. At least I know I'm not the only one who thought something weird was going on. Then I found the corpse of Scott Shepard. Let's see if I can get a picture of my friend. That'll be a little cheerier. Hello. I'm sure he'll be back. Just off on a little adventure, no doubt. A little possum adventure. There's a note. Let's see. Free cooking lessons. Well, they actually had cooking lessons right here. So where did everybody go? These people were clearly here very recently. These people weren't killed off by the bombs. Either crazy people from the vault killed them, and I don't know why people have gone crazy. Or the overseer herself has been killing people. Or I don't know what. Something weird was happening, and Scott Shepard had supernatural explanations for what was happening. Scott Shepard had supernatural explanations, and he is also dead. The mystery deepens. Who massacred the people in this bar? There's raiders here, and there's responders here, and they're both dead. And it looks like they died at the same time. Whoa! What just hit me? What just hit me? What was that? Did I step on a mine? What's Northland?
Did I play this one yet? Let's see. Who's talking to this? Oh, uh, yeah, am I loud enough? Okay. Um, hi. What do you want me to say exactly? Yeah, so just talk about how you got here and maybe a little bit about your life. This is a historic document. Go ahead, Tabitha. Okay, 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 so, well, thanks. Yeah, we heard this one. Ah, uh, okay. <sighs> I've been sober for nine days. Mm, I got here nine days ago. My name is, is Tabitha. And this is my story. I just found out about everything. <laughs> The war, the bombs, I, I just, I just realized this was uh, <laughs> really happening. For years, I thought the chems were playing tricks with my mind, hurting my brain. I thought it was the worst trip ever. Every time I had come out of my I think I did find Delbert's corpse, but we'll see. Scott Shepard. Knowledge of the big picture was his specialty. We found his house. I would have been studying the reasons why. Has theories on many topics, mostly political or paranormal. Scott Shepard is who I wanted to talk to, but he's dead. And so we continue on. And they have group therapy meetings. And, and it's good. It's good. I, I, I think it's healthy. Listen, um, you should avoid the mountains. <laughs> They'll just get you mixed up. Get you doing things you don't want to do. So many chems up there. I spent too long there and I hurt people. I couldn't think right. I, I couldn't. Oh, it, it's okay, Tabitha. Remember what we said in the group? Take your addictol and rest and things will be okay soon. It's okay. We're here for you. Yeah. When I feel better, I'm going out west now. Getting out of this place. Getting out, getting away from the cams, all of this. I feel better every day, but, you know, years of cams, years of rads, years of sleeping in the mud. It adds up. Yeah. I'm gonna get back to sleep now, okay? Okay. Thanks for sharing your story, Ted. Get some sleep. Bobby pins. Okay, now we're in business. Now we are in business. Am I crazy or was there something at Alpine that I needed to pick? Hmm. Delbert Winters in his home. And then we take the 86 up to Sutton.
Okay, scrapped. Wait, can I create any armor right now? I wonder. How skilled am I in this? I make more crazy ball boy masks, that's good. But I hope to build one without the hat. That hat might as well be an animal skin for the Vault Boy. Hey, the juice box does work, that's good. And apparently someone just left vault? Just left a suit of armor for me. I didn't think this would still be here when I came back, but here it is, headless armor.
trust your friend, Bob. A healthy water supply is vital to your survival. I cannot agree more, Bob. It sure is great to see living human beings. I thought I had boiled okay. water. It's great to see a friendly robot, Bob. Especially one in a Flatwoods Monster Church. You and I are going to be longtime friends forever. And let me know if there's any way to get in touch with Robco. That overseer lady said more people would be coming. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Let me know if you can get in touch with Robco for me because I need to reprogram some robots save their minds so we don't have to fight them. But cheers, buddy. I'll see you soon. Hey, volunteer. If you need supplies, bob has got you covered. You rock, Bob. Can I actually use this? Maybe I need to level up? Why isn't that loading? Oh, a memo. The database is now locked. Only volunteers and responders may access it until things calm down again. This is only a precaution. This is only a precaution until this whole thing blows over and we get back to rebuilding this great community. What whole thing? I just updated it with more information about supplies so when we get back we can start distributing resources to the survivors that remain. Delbert and Kesha have volunteered to stay behind and take care of the survivors. Thatha. Thatha and Kesha are both dead. Jeff, I thought. <laughs> Jeff, I hope things in Flatwoods are going well. I have a thought I wanted to share. If we can spare the personnel, I'd like to send a team into Golly Mine. They were blasting in the days before the war. They were blasting in the days before the war, and if there's still dynamite in there, it might come in handy. I know you're busy with a volunteer program, so it's your call, Maria. Blasting in a mine before the war. Here's hoping they did not find Cthulhu. Time to level up. Interesting. What do you call a vault overseer without a spouse? Irresistible. That is so dark and hilarious, I love it.
This is exactly why I need intelligence. Let's go for a little luck, too. Interesting. Uh... On the other hand, just the name Serendipity seems at my alley. Serendipity. Slow metabolizer, also useful. Okay, someone's shooting. Oh, it's because I have too much stuff. Okay, back to camp. I'm dropping my stuff. That's one of the paint. Close to camp, I'm going with it. God, all this prep work, all this prep work. I need to be on the road, I need to be on the road. Bag of chlorine. Where would I be without my bag of chlorine? My new best friend, the garden gnome. There were garden gnomes inside Vault 76. It's good to see they have friends out there, or... Is that you? Are you the garden gnome who was down there? Did you come out with me? I said you would and you did and now you're here. That's trippy. It's good to see you. Okay, and onward we go. That was a good station to find. I love you, Cavi. You spook me.
I'm glad that birdhouse is still there. for a quick nap. Oh, that wasn't worth it. Okay. Time to eat again. Donor match, as usual, for getting to feed himself. Whew, just like before the bombs dropped. The overseer certainly did make sure we ate on a regular schedule. Hmm. Whatever. That gnome is definitely becoming a permanent part of the camp. Okay. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I never doubted. I think I can store that for a while. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, Fallout 76. You have the power to load.
Oh my god, this menu. This menu. You can do it, menu. You can load. You can load. <laughs> okay, I'm uh, probably going to have to turn it off after I'm... Or uh, take a little nap after I finish with this because it is not quite loading correctly. Okay, that's enough to get me walking around. I definitely need more strength, but whatever. Okay. Super fast cooking. Super fast cooking. Super fast adventurous water gathering. I was hoping country music would not survive. I so low on foot flower. Okay. Time to stare into the sunset. Think about the weird world I have strolled into. And eat a bunch of weird stuff. See how well the the looted work. Wow, not very well. Okay. The quest is on for Rataway. Wow. The looted Rataway is nothing. At least allow myself some water. I should have eaten the radioactive food first. Great. Zoner Max, Ace Reporter, too exhausted to know what order to eat things in. So much. Do I have a tapeworm? Good God. Okay. Yeah, 
here's hoping that's temporary. I mean, that here's hoping that's not temporary because, well, whatever. No need to think about it. Hmm. Okay, time to stroll. I had a snooze earlier. I slept hard. After falling incredibly far. It wasn't the first time I had taken head trauma to the point where I lost consciousness, but it was the first time it wasn't from a robot, so interesting experience. It looks like there'll be others there. It's both useful and terrifying that the Overseer tagged us like this. And of course, it's both useful and terrifying that I now draw a machete like a maniac with the slightest drop of a hat. Good old wasteland living. Well, that doesn't feel like a wasteland. It's radioactive, sure, but it's pretty nice. I was in the city before the bombs dropped. Most of my wilderness experience came from books. So the exploration has been enlightening. Hello. The wise two-headed cow is bringing us... The wise two-headed... Multi-nippled cow milk? Yes. You're one of the good ones. When do I grow a second head? Should I be hoping for that, or is that... Going to be terrifying. I'd have to resew all my outfits for one. Hmm. I have to admit, I can see both advantages and disadvantages to having multiple heads. One, half the people I've met do not speak. Two, the other half are deliriously insane. On the other hand, what if my new head is insane? And I have so much fun talking to myself, would... Would that head just get in the way of that? Is that ghouls versus robots? So that I approve of. That I definitely approve of. Whoa! Oh! Ah! Ah! I apologize. I didn't mean to approve of your... Frenzy Master. That was wrong, but you're right. Woo! Woo! Okay. Everything's fine, everything's fine. I think I'll just keep moving. I think I'll just keep moving. Why not? Nuts! Whoa! Does this place have an underside? There weren't ghouls around here before. I'm kind of... No! No! Who hurt my friend? Damn it. Surprise, surprise. The cop is a ghoul. My pit boy is telling me to go this way. Heard your story, Reverend. Oh, I have heard your story. Let's hear it again. I heard your story, but I didn't realize you were the Reverend. Reverend Delbert Winters here, born. Oh, and here's the brain fungus. Met my own 
church to the responders for their outpost. Are you an intelligence and, uh, spreading across the countryside via fungus? The are you all are on a true mission, you an enlightened connected you consciousness, or do you just look kind of brainy? It's hard for me to tell. Happened, on the other hand, like most, it was time. This was regardless the of whether you're an ultra consciousness, I do have a recipe for making you into soup. Am I crazy first, and pushing I myself to starvation for thinking we was missed. you might God, be alive? Maybe we did some wrong. Didn't give enough to right. charity, maybe. Even you am I Didn't succumbing to madness? Name, even in the worst of times. Another level maybe of insanity. So I asked I asked how Here we go. Why? I fought your wars on Earth. I'm ready to fight them up there by your side. Then, in my despair, I saw some survivors eating raw red carcass behind the dumpster. You ought to cook that first, I warned them. It seemed obvious. We tried, but got sick, they said, covered in their own pills. I realized right then and there that I was being asked. Then on, I built kitchens, cooked good food, fed anyone who walked up with an empty belly. And I was thankful for my task in life. Thank Sunshine oil keeps you awake and regular, extra regular. It wakes this you up and forces you to poop hard. I'll be swept clear away with it. This is what I'm getting into Let's with the responders. Let's share a home -cooked meal together. I think I'll stick to reporter. Thank you very much. I've read all this before. Okay, you, sir, are entertaining to listen to. I'm going to take your weird poop oil. Ah, crap. I've read all this before. I just didn't realize you were Delbert. Who the hell is that? What? Human or psycho? Ah, human! That's cool. Another human. Oh, are you a priest? I was just standing over the corpse of another priest, contemplating whether or not it was right to eat brain fungus. Is it like some super smart fungus? Or does it just kind of look brainy? As a priest, I'm sure you have many opinions on the subject, but... Hmm. Onward, it seems. Dude, are you, like, invisible or something? I can't see you. That church seems dedicated to the Flatwoods monster, which is kind of weird. Another thing of priestly interest. And then we logged out for no reason. That's probably a good place to pause. Although we should see if it... My character's okay. Let's see if we can at least get a more graceful exit from this episode.
Will it load? Will it load? My main concern is whether or not it saves, but... Let's see if we can at least do a graceful exit to the episode. Taking another stroll through downtown Flatwoods by the Flatwoods Church. Clearly dedicated to the Flatwoods Monster, aka the Green Monster, here in Green Country. Alien, Nature God, both at the same time. There's a lot to think about here. I'm about to head to Sutton for the next part of my mission. Is there a mission? Well, it appears nothing's loading, so... We'll see you next time. I emerged from flat from apologies. I emerged from Vault 76 into a world of magic and madness. The people I think I recognize from the vault don't seem to recognize me, and they seem strange when I talk to them. Not all of them. Did Vault Tech gas us? Did someone else gas us? Did the government gas us? Or did everybody just get a little squirrely when they walked out of there? From vault Tech to Flatwood... Well, let me put that a different way. From deep underneath a mountain... To the forest... To Flatwood... To aliens and nature monsters... With stranger things, stranger things on the horizon. I believe Sutton is where I'm heading next. I'm excited to see what I find there. I'm still so blown away by what, I, by what I found here. I'm still destroyed by what I found here. Nothing is what I expected. Welcome to Flatwood. Is this the Twilight Zone? Did I leave only to re-enter? Ah, no, it's just the other side of the sign. But still, that would have been cool. Welcome to Flatwood. There's Red Rocket, which of course means something very dirty. And there are the purple flowers growing for us all. I'm about to hack this robot to death.
And then my elegant stroll will continue. I wish I had his hat. Just wandering the countryside, hacking people to death with machetes. Just how I always imagined life as a reporter would be. Oh, maybe it's time to climb the bridge. No. Onward to Sutton. Or maybe it's time for that boat. Why are soot flowers called soot flowers? They're actually pretty nice. Oop, oh, what's that? Mole rats, mole rats. Okay, never mind. Let the mole rats have their fun. I'll come back here soon. Ah! No, I was going to leave you in peace. Ah! 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 No! I wanted to let you frolic majestically. No! No! Okay. Okay, nice and majestic. Nice and majestic. Okay, where'd that road go? There's the road. There's the road. Zero to Max Ace Reporter. Totally knows how roads work and just found a sinkhole? Okay. Turns out I did. Why are you still alive? Why can't I have your cool hat? Huh, it occurs to me that those last two robots didn't actually attack me. Did I just kill them for no reason? Is that what happened? Am I going the right way? There's a lot to think about here. I don't want to be murdering things that don't deserve to be murdered. Deep breath, deep breath. Let's rest here, I see... This looks like a nice place to camp. Oh, wild dogs. I do not like killing them. Oh. Ah, no, I don't want to kill dogs. I really don't want to kill you. Ah, uh, that does not make me happy. I will not eat your meat. I will not search for your meat because there is no reason to eat it. I want spit flowers. Delicious spit flowers. 
no, 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 no. Good doggy, good doggy. I need to learn to tame animals. This is not a good spot to go to. Well, it was worth it for the vodka, I guess. Nothing like slaughtering several dogs in order to get vodka. You really did it, Planet Earth. On the other hand, this guy chose to die while taking a bath in the middle of nowhere. I salute your spirit. It inspires me. This inspires me. I always look on the bright side of life. All right. This is Zoner Max, Ace Reporter. It is a story to solve. Scott Shepard, the guy who thought there was a paranormal explanation for it, is dead. But I'm putting one foot ahead of the other. I'm walking down the road. I'm going to find the overseer. See what she knows. God, out in this world, I guess I gotta find everyone and see what everyone knows. The future looks weird. I think I'm gonna have to get weird. Get weirder, anyways. To deal with it. Oh, hey, look at that mountain. Look at that house on that mountain. Look at that mansion on that mountain. Maybe I should walk that bridge. Interesting. This is Zoner Max, Ace Reporter. I'll see you again soon. Stay groovy, stay cosmic. Peace and love.